So I want to end the show by trying something different that I've really been looking forward to. And uh, before I begin, I guess I'll pour myself. It's the weekend after all. I was going to say a Jack and Coke, but actually it's an Evan Williams and Pepsi. I was going to buy Jack, but it's like $25.99 or something, at least at uh, my packy. So, ooh, that's a lot of bourbon. Now, some of you might know, if you've been listening for a while, that one of my favorite TV shows, if not my favorite TV show ever, is Northern Exposure. Yeah, I know, it's old. <laughs> and, uh, it, you know, even though I'm an atheist, uh, I guess if you had to ask me what I like about it, it's quirky, it's spiritual, uh, I like all the literary references, and there's just a, there was a certain kind of spirit of humanity about the show that I really liked. And one of my favorite characters on the show was Chris Stevens, who was played by John Corbett, who you might remember as uh, the male lead, I think, in My Big Fat Greek Wedding, which I actually never saw. But John Corbett as Chris Stevens, I think, was one of the best characters on TV ever. And Chris Stevens was this kind of charming young ex-con who somewhere along the way discovered his kind of intellectual side and took an interest in art and philosophy and things like that. And he hosted a show called Chris in the Morning uh, at the local radio station in Sicily, Alaska. I think, uh, I think K-Bear was the name of the station. And he would go off on these little kind of quirky yet philosophical tangents that always kind of left you thinking or gave you a good feeling. And I bought a book called Chris in the Morning, Love Life and the Whole Karmic Enchilada. And yeah, that's a cheesy title, but it's basically an anthology of all those little ta philosophical tangents from the show. And so here and there, I wanted to start reading them at, at the end of uh, some of the episodes of the podcast. And so this tangent takes place when... I think the town of Sicily, Alaska is experiencing the effects of a full moon or something like that, but I'll read it. Whenever there's a new moon looming on the horizon, someone will inevitably call to ask, Hey, Chris, what about that sucker? And I'll usually say something cordial like, Oh yeah, it's a marvelous night for a moon dance. Or I wonder what old Sun Young Moon's doing tonight. But knowing how we've all been tossing and turning these past few nights for fear of where our dreams are taking us, I'm not going to pretend that the man in that moon has our best interest at heart. He's too much of a kidder. In the meanwhile, until that big fella packs his bags and hits the road, put away your sharp utensils and stay close to your loved ones, if you're lucky enough to have any. See you in the morning, folks, or in the moonlight, whichever comes first. Dreams are postcards from our subconscious, inner self to outer self. Right brain trying to cross that moat to the left. Too often they come back unread. Return to sender. Address unknown. And that's a shame because it's a whole other world out there. Or in here. Depending on your point of view. Indeed, for all we know, this very moment could be nothing more than vapors of our own imaginations. As Bertrand Russell mused, I do not believe that I am now dreaming, but I cannot prove that I am not. Point being, there could be more to our nocturnal journeys than commonly accepted or considered. This is Chris in the Morning coming to you on K-Bear from Sicily, Alaska, in the heart of the borough of Arrowhead. I had a really weird dream last night, and I want to tell you about it. But first, the weather and local news. So I guess I'll leave it there. Uh, man, I loved Chris in the Morning. But I hope you guys dug that. If you want to hear more of it, just let me know. And you guys know the drill. You can like the show on Facebook, follow the show on Twitter, uh, check out the YouTube channel. Maybe you're doing that now. You can subscribe to the show or leave a review via iTunes. If you want to support the show monetarily, you can do so by using the PayPal widget at the bottom of the Podbean page. There's all that famous alliteration. Or you can go to Patreon slash The Week in Doubt and uh, sponsor the show for as little as 99 cents a month. All right. Stay weird.